Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. So I get a lot of questions about who my favorite photographer is, and while there are some answers that I could just give right off the bat, people like Elliot Erwitt, Sally Mann, those are two photographers I've always loved, but uh, at any given time, there are usually a couple photographers that I'm really, really into, at least for the time being, and uh, today I've got three different photographers that I've been hooked on for at least the last year. Uh, one of them a little more recently than the other two, but still, they're photographers that I'm always interested in looking at their work, so I guess you could consider them uh, some of my favorite photographers of all time, but today we're going to go through those photographers, all of the books of theirs that I own and that I would recommend, and yeah, just talk about what I really enjoy about their work. First up on the list is Mary Fry. This is a photographer that wasn't on my radar until basically early 2021, and that was by my good friend Kevin O'Mara, who helped me with my own book. Uh, Kevin was basically telling me all about why I would enjoy Mary Fry, and he knows I love Sally Mann, and Kevin is not the biggest fan of hers, and uh, he, he said something, I'll, I'm just gonna put Kevin on blast here, I guess. He said something to the effect of like, why do we need Sally Mann when we have Mary Fry? Or it was something like that. Uh, it's just, it's, it is family photography, but it's completely different from what Sally Mann did, obviously. Uh, if you look at the two, it's, it's clear how different they are. But anybody who can enjoy everyday life, documentary photography, these little slices of life kind of photos, anybody who enjoys that kind of stuff would definitely love Mary Fry's work. The two books of hers I have are Reading Raymond Carver and Real Life Dramas. Real Life Dramas is an all color book and Reading Raymond Carver is an all black and white book. So depending on your style and what you're into, there's sort of a book for each, but both are just full of amazing everyday life moments. Next up, we've got Sage Sawyer. I have made an entire video dedicated just to Sage Sawyer and a few books of hers that I had picked up at that time, and I'm still coming back to those books. I still love the work, and since then I've also added another book, which is probably my favorite of all of the books of hers that I own, and that's American Scene. My good friend Kyle, who owns Baltimore Photospace, which if you need a place to buy photo books, there's a quick plug for Baltimore Photospace. It's an amazing shop and it's ran by great people. Uh, Kyle told me to check out American Scene because he knew how much of a fan I was of Sage's work and he was like, if you are into her work, this is the book you need to own. And uh, yeah, he was definitely right. Last but not least is Mark Steinmetz, which is a photographer that I've referenced in other videos before and I've talked about wanting to make an entire video just diving into his work alone. My list of YouTube videos is always growing, so I will get to that video at some point when I can give it like the proper time and attention that I can, but things have been busy. But for the meantime, you're going to be able to see a little bit of his work in this video, and it is phenomenal. I own a lot of Mark's books. I don't own all of them, but all of them that I own, I would definitely recommend to really anyone wanting to get into his work. I think at this point I own more Mark Steinmetz books than I do Elliot Erwitt books, which says a lot because I've been an Elliot Erwitt fan forever. But from the moment I first saw Mark Steinmetz's work, it instantly stood out to me. There was a level of sort of intimacy and, and closeness that he had with all of his subjects and all of these photos that they just felt like, they didn't feel like photos, they felt like you were actually there. And I don't know what it is, there's a softness to it, and there's just, it, it's not a startling kind of thing. It's not like a street photographer trying to get, you know, as close as they can and right up in someone's face. It's not a, there's no edge to it or anything. It just feels very intimate and soft and uh, it just feels raw. And it's really, really hard to explain that, but when you see his work, you can feel it. If you're interested in picking up any of these books, I will put the photographer's names and titles all in the description down below, and then any links, if any of these books that are still available, if I can grab a link for it, I'll also put that in the description. So the common thread in all of these photographers, and especially all of these books, are just all of the everyday life kind of moments. That's the kind of stuff I love to shoot myself, so it's pretty natural that that's the kind of stuff I'm really drawn to, at least right now. So uh, if you're into that kind of thing, these books I feel like would be right up your alley. Um, and if you're not already consuming photography through photo books or zines, if you haven't at least tried that out, I would highly recommend you do it. Uh, you know, YouTube and Instagram and all that stuff, that's great but uh, actually consuming photography through a photo book and buying a book and being able to look at it whenever you want and hand it off to a friend and, and see it printed in front of you. Um, and you can see it anytime you want. You don't have to rely on an algorithm to feed you photography. Like it's, 
If you're not already buying photo books or sitting down with photo books to just study them, uh, yeah, you definitely should. And another thing you should do if you need a website is check out today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace for my own website for years, way before they ever sponsored my channel because they're just the best all-in-one platform to build a great looking website. With all the different templates to choose from and ways that you can customize your site to make it your own, it's incredibly easy to use and you don't really have to have that kind of experience to do it. But if you ever need help with anything, they have 24 seven award-winning customer service. For your portfolio, online store, blog, newsletter, anything you need, you can do it all with Squarespace. If you wanna try it out for yourself for free, you can do so at squarespace.com. But when you're ready to get signed up, go to squarespace.com slash Matt Day, and that'll get you 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's gonna do it for today though. Thank you guys for watching. I love you, and I'll see you next time.